Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Nova 19 plays Max Payne 3. Uh, what's going on here then? <laughs> yeah, this isn't going well. And... Headshot. Oh look, two guys here. Can't waste that bullet. There we go. Bullseye! Yeah, you were never gonna make you were never gonna make it, my friend. So there we go. What? Who's alive now? Great, someone else is alive I have to kill. I am not giving up on you, I am still alive. Oh hello. Headshot! Oh, you're dead. Don't even try it. Anyone else? Who else is alive? Where did he come from? Headshot again. I am great. Anyway, I think I should probably start talking about uh, the game. As this is... In this place reminded me of how long it had been since I'd had any food. A drinker eats when he's loaded. A real drunk eats when he's not. There we go. Some a nice bit of trivia for you. Die! Die! Yeah, he's dead. Now, if I may, I will get around to talking about the game. So this is a third-person shooter. For those of you who don't it was time to introduce our sniping pal to something more intimate and short range. There we go. If uh, for those of you who are not used to or do not know of Max Payne, it is a third person shooter that uses this, which is a slow motion, called Bullet Time. Damn it. Uh, called Bullet Time. Uh, that's what really made it famous. That and its noir sort of style, comic book style, of the first two games anyway. This game sort of throws that out the window. It's time to introduce our sniping pal to something more intimate and short range. And... God damn it. Ah, uh, There's two of them in there, that's why. Right, so, uh, I will... I want to see if I can shoot past this bit. It was time to introduce our sniping pal to something more intimate and short range. Come on, I know you're done there. Yes. And he's down for the count. I can use this sniping spot here because the next part of this game is just me sniping people to peacefully talk about the game. No one shooting at me. We'll be perfect. I think, no, this isn't me sniping. I don't think. So it's coming from the stands. That might be the next part. Shit, they got the guy with the bag. Stay here, cover me. Yep, it's the next part I snipe. Anyway, I can still talk. So uh I will probably it should probably be said that I will try and keep this around quarter of an hour long. Or under, if I can. Between ten to fifteen minutes. So it doesn't get too boring. And just in case uh, any of you didn't know, uh, the reason I started making these Let's Play videos, not Let's Play, Nova 19 plays, is because uh, I don't have that much spare time to make 
full on walkthroughs. Oh, dead. To make full on walkthroughs. So instead, I thought I'd create these little videos and talk a bit if uh, I can. Uh, for the when I first started making YouTube videos, I didn't have a decent mic, so I wasn't able to make uh, good quality audio. I still, um, you know, suffer a bit. But I've got a good decent mic now, so I'm able to make better quality videos, better quality uh, commentary for my videos, than I could before, thankfully. And the reason I make these videos in particular is because like I said, I don't have that much spare time to make full-on walkthroughs, and these are much easier. Although I have not got the... Oh, come on, I just started the game. That, that is taking the piss. Come on, jump. I keep forgetting, on PC it's space bar to jump. <coughs> right, so, I picked this game up uh, last week or the week before in the autumn sale the autumn steam sale I have a machine gun here that'll come in handy oh you know you're dead ah, I hit him in the balls okay that is one of the hardest bits in the game, this. Well, not hardest, but it's one of the m more awkward ones. Because there are so many things to get in your way, you can't do a successful dive most of the time. Without hitting a chair or something. Right, I'm inside. Looks like a VIP lounge or something. I'm gonna check it out. Oh, look, another one. Yeah, this is one of my least favourite levels. Oh, it's just so packed with objects. You can't really manoeuvre around in bullet time properly. Headshot! Of course, that would be a headshot if I had any ammo. Oh yes. Grenade. Oh, for God's sakes. This is on normal. Looks like a VIP lounge or something. I'm gonna check it out. As I doubt I'll be getting any further in this game, so I'll just talk about talk about it a bit more. Wait. One down. Was it like 30 to go? Oh, three down. Oh, yes. Not as good as Sniper Elite, but oh well. He's down. And do the bullet time jump. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm no. Killed him, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna live. Saw the guy come on the corner. No I'm not. VIP lounge or something. I'm gonna check it out. I did intend on talking a bit more about the game, but this is really distracting me now. The fact that I can't get through you. Yeah, that was smart. Who's left? Uh, come on. 
screw it. I'll just talk about the game and try less to concentrate on uh, what I'm doing. Because even when I do concentrate, I'm not getting anywhere. I swear, it's just luck that gets me through this game. Down. Down. Can't see him there, but I know who he is there. Yep, I'm just gonna walk towards them. That'll work. Don't try and jump out of the way, just walk towards them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he actually got me. But not for long. Way. No. Yep, he's reloading. I'm changing guns. It's all very civilized. And he got me. Of course, grenade. Right, so I've been talking for about 10 minutes. So I will... Finally get around to talking about why I like this game. Bullet time being one of them. Well, no, I mean, let's face it, this... Claudio, they're golden sure picked the wrong party on the wrong night. Although if the past week was anything to go by, it was safe to assume any party with the Broncos in attendance was the wrong one to be at. Quite right. Uh, that's a reference to something that happens earlier on in the game. Uh, it was time to get out of this Hall of Fame before somebody added my face to the wall. Hmm. Well, this is a game that's really know. hard to talk over. For something, that ain't here, I guess. something is always happening. What was I doing back here? Uh, this wasn't the, time to be the reason I enjoy this game is because of the, uh, the story and the tone. I mean, of the art design as well. Because the previous two in no, installments for this Go franchise. Out. Uh, were noir sort of comic book style games. For cover, the cutscenes were anyway. Uh, noir to comic books. You know, in New York, that sort of um, beaten, down, downtrodden detective, whatever. Still trying to do some good. Always getting in trouble. Always being used. And this game doesn't change that formula much. I mean, it's not like the first two. It's more like Man on Fire, in terms of its visual style. All these flashing lights and colours. Whoa, sliding in stairs. Keep shooting. Damn it, ran out of ammo. I think I will use the machine gun for that. Yeah, and these you know, sort of like all the varied array of colours that are used in the cutscenes. It's more like Man on Fire, but it's still got that sort of essence that the first two games had. He is being used, he's got all these different things, things are happening around him that he doesn't quite understand, because unlike the first two games, he was in an environment he was used to. He was in New York, he grew up there, he had a family there, his family died there, he's been there for years, he knew the players, you know, he knew the characters, the characters knew him, and he knew how things went. But now he's in a completely different environment that he doesn't quite understand. He's not used to. And it's just really interesting to see how he adapts to that environment. What he does within it. From a gameplay perspective, nothing much has changed uh, other than the graphics. The graphics have gotten better. Okay, I'm in. There's also for this, which something happens in this that doesn't quite happen in the other games. That um, yeah, he's a he's a drunk, you know, he's you know he's alcoholic, whatever. Uh, doesn't really much, doesn't care for his own well-being as such. 
but in this one, by the end of the game, there is a clear change in the character. I mean, he, he sobers up a bit. He's not as he's not the drunk he was when he started the game. Then there is, you know, story-wise, there is a clear progression and character development, which I really, which is really enjoyable to watch. And I just feel like you know, some some games don't have that at all. But this is made by Rockstar, so one thing Rockstar does do well is, you know, character. Well, come on. Run! Run, Passos! Run for your life! And I will show you a little bit of this sniping session. Ah, missing. Oh, I got him. Oh, come on. Oh, what's this? Is it in the head? In the head? Nope, not in the head, in the chest, but close enough. Three down. So there you go, I've talked a little bit about why I like this game. Ooh, in the head, in the head. Yeah, yeah, that was in the head. Good. At least they hit something in the head. What happened to his pistol? Stay down. Where? All right. Where are you? Ooh, he's down. Oh, look. Some more people are joining the party. Come on. Just die. Headshot. Oh, square in the head as well. Right, parcels, get out of the way. Just get in cover. Wasn't fun. <laughs> Listen to me, you head for the chopper. We need to be ready to get the hell out of here. I guess I'll stay on the money. Sounds like a plan. Stay on the money. Late for a plan, pal. God, God damn it, Max. Shit. Now we got another sniper on me. So let me deal with this guy first. All right, bro. I'm moving too. Stay in touch. Okay, so this was a little snippet of gameplay for you. Hope you've enjoyed it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed my commentary. I know it hasn't been great. But these are the first few, few videos I'm actually doing proper commentary for. And I will see you in the next video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Until then though, keep playing video games, keep enjoying them and... I'll see you next time. See ya.